Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Leobor and today I'm going to be uh, playing a little new game I got my hands on called The Excavation of Hobbs Barrow and uh, it's uh, looking pretty cool. It's a mystery horror game we are going to find out and well but before we start I wanted to remind you that if you like my content, please smash that like button. Hey! What the fuck? <laughs> As I was saying, remember to smash that like button to tell YouTube that you like my content. And also consider subscribing to my channel so you will know when I upload videos. And that helps the channel a lot. Also, I'm about to reach 100 subscribers, which is not much. But, okay, that shit is, is creepy. Okay, I am about to reach 100 subscribers. It's not much, but it's a start. So just click the subscribe button and be one of the first 100 subscribers of this channel. And uh, also, I have a Twitch channel. It's new, it's in the road to affiliate. The link's down below. If you could go there and drop a follow, that would be great. And also, I would love to have you there when I'm live. So to chat, uh, chill, or lurk, or whatever you want. And oh shit! Okay, yeah. And with all of that out of the way, let's dive right into the game. Yeah, that it seems quite eager, eager to be played by me. It's like saying, "Yeah, yeah, move, quick, play." Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Let's go. Okay, let's see. We are in a dark alleyway. Well, not so dark. There's a that's a lamppost there. Can I move? <coughs> Can I click? Okay. Yeah, it's a point and click adventure, like the classics. Uh, uh, okay. There is someone around coughing. Okay, we are. What is this? Oh, I wanted to read that sign. Ah, Miss Bateman. Welcome back to Ticehurst House. It's been quite some time. Terrible weather this evening, is oh. it not? Uh, yeah, actually, yes. Nurse Blaketon has had enough of me smoking inside. Makes her cough, you see. A bit of rain won't kill me, will it? Well, that depends in a set of circumstances, but if the rain doesn't kill you, the smoking will eventually. Let me tell you. You, uh, you mustn't be interested in me nattering on. Not particularly, old man. Give my regards to your father. Nurse Blaketon is preparing his supper. So this is a, like a nursing home or a home for the you look elderly. Pale, Miss Bateman, you head inside. You'll catch your death out here. Okay, let's go inside to the. I've forgotten number number the name of the house, the excavation of Hobbs Barrow. Okay, now I'm on a train. That's a leap. Dearest mother, I hope this letter will reach you. I have spent these past years in torment, trying to piece together what remains of fractured memories. What I am about to recount to you will seem beyond comprehension. But I beg for your patience. I will endeavour to explain the events that led me to Ticehurst House that night. As far as I can recall, this whole wretched story started with the receipt of a letter from a Mr. Leonard Shoulder.
The letter brought me to the isolated village of Bewley, deep in the moors. Okay, uh, I want to... No station master in sight. Okay. I hope the village isn't too far away. I can't recall our exact meeting place. Mr. Shoulder mentioned it in his letter. Okay, left click to walk, interact, right click to examine. To access the inventory and menu, move your mouse cursor to the top of the screen. Left click on an inventory item to select it, right click to examine it. Once the inventory an inventory item is selected, you can right click to deselect it. You can double click on an exit to teleport directly to it. The game will occasionally auto save. You can also save anytime via the menu. Okay, yeah, understood. Uh, classic point and click adventure. So let me, uh, I'm going to change settings. I put, I turn on click to advance dialogue because I thought it, it was going to be annoying um, because I thought uh, it would be faster than I could read, but now it's all voiced, so it's cool. Let's just leave it off. And And let's get back to the game. Okay, so we started in a remote village. Sign. If I take the sign, how would the trains know where to stop? Okay. Julie, I have great expectations for this barrow. The tracks look quite untarnished. I don't think many trains come through here. A the post looks unattended. Okay, uh, can I, I move? I ought here? to read Mr. Shoulder's letter again. I can't recall the name of our meeting place. Okay, let's go to the inventory. This the letter. Let's examine. Okay, dear Miss Bateman, I write this letter in the hope of piquing your curiosity. I read about your expertise in barrows. And if I understand correctly, you are writing a book on them and the treasures they contain. I live in the village of Bewley, where a most special barrow can be found on the outskirts. It's a rectangular in form and is certainly tall enough to stand up in. The place is steeped in local legend and there is rumor of secrets to be found deep within. I hope you will not misunderstand me and find this letter intrusive. If you wish to visit Bewley and excavate the barrow, I will be pleased to be your guide. Please send your response to the plow and furrow in, um, furrow in Bewley. I shall await your letter. Yours respectfully, Mr. Leonard Shoulder. Okay, this is the second letter in response to her letter. This dear Miss Bateman, marvelous news. I shall meet you at eight o'clock in the evening of the 14th of this new month at the Plow and Forum in Bewley. The inn has fine rooms which you will find adequate for your short stay. When we meet, I shall tell you more of the circumstances surrounding the site, which is referred to locally as Hobbs Barrow. It is not located on my own land, but, but we will have no issue gaining permission to excavate. I wish you a safe journey. I must make my way to the plow and furrow inn. Oh, and that door lady? Excuse me. Yes. Okay, where can I find the plow and furrow inn? I'm looking for the plow and furrow inn. Do you know where I can find it? Ah, young lady, leave the station and follow the dry stone wall for around half a mile. You'll come to Bewley. Go straight ahead and you'll find the market square. The inn is to the side at square. Thank you very much. What can you tell me about Bewley? Well, it used to be a thriving village. Not so much now. 
I don't spend much time there these days. Are you local? Ah, yes, a local I am, but I don't live in the village. Where are you travelling to today? That would be none of your business, young lady. Quite. Apologies. I wish you a pleasant journey. Okay, let's go. Not oh, through here then. Uh, what brings you to Beulah? It's none of your business. I beg your pardon. What brings you to Beulah, Miss? Lie. She looks superstitious. Or tell the truth. I have nothing to hide. Let's lie. Just a bit of sightseeing. Hmm. We don't get many of your type out here. My type? City folks. Curious young ladies. Not much to be seen in Beaulieu, if you ask me. You're better off waiting for the next train back to the city. I'll take my chances. Hmm. Can't say I didn't warn you. That was odd. Oh, ominous music. A crow. Okay, this is a door. Um, I should stick to the wall, she said, and reach the market square. I think this should be this. This is a square, I suppose. The sign says... The sign is in a shabby state, but the shop appears to be a cobbler's. Okay. There it is, the plow and furrow. Plow and furrow. I have a bit of time before Mr. Shoulder arrives. I should inquire about a room. The man looks thoroughly inebriated. Yep. Okay, I'm heading to the plow and furrow. I'm heading to the plow and furrow. Bloody good pub, that. It has the finest sales in the whole county. Oh, I'll take you there if you like. Uh, I believe we are standing directly in front of it. Oh, so we are. Please. Yes. Give us a kiss now, won't you? What the fuck? Okay. The first question, perhaps he's married? Wouldn't your wife disapprove? My wife? Bloody hell, my wife! My tea will be on the table at this hour. And if I don't get back, she'll be roaring. On. Oh, that work. What a buffoon. Yeah, totally. What the fuck goes around asking random girls for I kisses? I should speak to the innkeeper about a room. Let's look the at him. The innkeeper is a serious-looking man. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, lass. How can I help you? A room? Need of a room for the night. Aye, we aren't short of those. One night, is it? I shall need at least two nights, maybe more. Aye, it is not a problem. Three shilling per night. That includes your dinner and tea. A fair price. I'll need that payment up front for the two nights. Okay, uh, money. This is payment for the room. Thank you. Can I ask for your name, lass? Thomasina Bateman. Will Mr. Bateman be staying with us tonight? No, I am not wed. My assistant is arriving in Beulah tomorrow. Your assistant, you say? Will you be needing another room? Please. I'll keep a room spare. It's not quite as nice as yours, I'm afraid. Not a problem, sir. I'm sure it will be adequate. Kenneth is a man of inexpensive taste. Here's your key. 
Just go through the door to the right of the bar, then up the stairs. Room number two. Thank you. Can I help you with your luggage? No, thank you, sir. I can manage. I should go upstairs and freshen up before Mr. Shoulder arrives. Okay. This shall do nicely. Yeah, it's a I nice room. To something more comfortable. I stored my case in there. A box okay. within a box. I've hung my dress inside. Aside from that, the wardrobe is empty. A decrepit set of drawers. A matchbox. Ah, complimentary matches. Useful. There's only one match left, though. One match? Oh. Jammed shut. The wood must have warped over the years. I love this. I love it. It's like the, those uh, old uh, adventure games. I love those. A plate. A decorative plate depicting a goat. I don't wish to take it. Yeah, okay. An empty bowl. bowl has been provided for washing. A jug of water for drinking or washing. Okay. Let's just go down. Okay, I don't see Mr. Sh Shoulder anywhere around. Let's ask Miss the Bateman, innkeeper. You've transformed. I feel far more comfortable in my outdoor clothing. You look like one of those explorers you see in the newspaper. I guess you could call me an explorer of sorts. I'm Stanley. Stanley Kemp. A pleasure to meet you, Stanley. And tell me, I trust your room is adequate. Most adequate. Excellent. Okay, uh, let's ask about Mr. Shoulder. I'm looking for a man named Leonard Shoulder. I'm looking for a man oh, named Leonard Shoulder. That. Hi, I know the man. I'm to meet him here tonight. Can I get you something to drink while you wait? Not yet, thank you. What can you tell me about Mr. Shoulder? Hi, he's a quiet fellow. He only comes here to check his post. Yes, I've been corresponding with him using this address. Have you now? You found yourself an admirer. <laughs> Not quite. What business do you have with old Leonard then? Okay, I don't have anything to hide. Well, if you must know, I am what some people call a barrow digger. A what? A barrow digger. What in God's name is that? Are you familiar with tumuli? Afraid not. Barrow is another word for tumulus, or tumuli in the plural. A profoundly interesting subject. You've lost me. I excavate ancient burial sites looking for relics. A barrow is traditionally a circular mound of raised earth enclosing a burial chamber. Oh, I? You're a grave robber. I am no <laughs> such thing. Don't worry, lass. I've met all sorts in here over the years. I won't tell anyone. I assure you, my goal is more noble than petty grave robbery. What sort of relics do you find then? Gold? Silver? Bones? Well, rarely gold or silver, but treasures certainly. Ancient pottery is the most common find. I've been excavating barrows all over the country. I'm documenting my findings in preparation for my book. It shall be called Vestiges of the Antiquities in Rural England. Oh, aye. Very interesting. But what does old Leonard have to do with this? He sent me a letter in which he told me about an unusual barrow in Bewley. A site called Hobbs Barrow. I'm meeting him here this evening to find out more. I've lived here nigh on my whole life, and I've heard nout about a Hobbs Barrow. What? There's... Are you sure you've never heard of Hobbs Barrow? Not in my life, lass, but I'll tell you something. More stretch further than the eyes can see would you leave this village. There's no doubt many a discovery to be made. Mr. Shoulder said the Barrow is well known locally, a place of legend. I'm afraid you're going to have to speak to him about it. Okay, Why that's weird. Why are you weird. interested in digging around in the dirt, lass? 
I think you've better things to do with your time. I enjoy nothing more than the thrill of discovery, uncovering the past and piecing together our history. I inherited this passion from my father. Oh, a marrow digger too, eh? Indeed. He would take me with him on excavations as a child. Does he still come with you now, on your own adventures? I'm afraid my father's been bedbound by illness for many years. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, lass. Thank you, Mr. Kemp. He is well looked after at a private hospital. What can you tell me about Bewley? Aye, it's a quiet place. People keep to themselves, work hard. I look forward to exploring the village tomorrow. There's not a lot to see, lass. But St. Edmund's Church is a fine building, worth a visit. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Kemp. Well, uh, I've been the proprietor of this inn for the last 16 years. I worked as a drover all over the country in my younger days. Saved up me coin and bought this place. It's a fine inn. Thank you. I often run short of ale, but my rooms are rarely full. We don't get many outsiders wanting to stay overnight here in Bewley. Thanks for your time. As you were. Okay, let's talk to these men. Good day, sir. I suppose he's too busy drinking. A rather miserable looking fellow. He's playing a board game by himself. I think it's Three Men's Morris. Good afternoon, sir. Note for you here. I beg your pardon? I said there's note for you here, lass. Be on your way. Charming. Oh, eh? They're charming. We are engaged in an intense discussion. Hello, sir. What? I'm waiting here for a man named Leonard Shoulder. Do you know him? I don't. Do you, love? Never heard of him. There you have it. Now clear off. Oh, how nice people. A old man. looking old fellow. Hello, sir. Hi. Do you know a Mr. Leonard Shoulder? You're not local. You've come on that bloody train, haven't you? Bewley's going to dogs. Okay, I'm going to introduce myself. My name is Thomasina Bateman, and you are... None of your business, lass. Where's your husband? None of your business, sir. Ah! You're brave coming in here, all on your own. I'm a grown woman. I'm Cyril. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Cyril. Do you know Mr. Shoulder? That'd be none of your business, lass. I don't come to your city, poking around, asking questions, do I? Man just wants to enjoy his ale in peace. I take it you are not enamoured with the railway station? Bill is going to be swarming with outsiders, like you. We don't want you coming here. It's as simple as that, lass. Why not? This is our town, our land. I assure you, I am not here to cause trouble. We'll see about that, won't we? What can you tell me about Bewley? We're a proud community. I've lived here my whole life. Not much here to interest folks like you. Folks like me? Aye. Bye for now. ta -da, lass. Mr. Shoulder should really be here by now. I'll sit down and wait. Okay. Okay. How on earth is he? What a waste of time this is turning out to be. Yeah, that's weird. Oh. Oh, this is the drunk guy. Not you again. I just wanted to apologize for earlier. I got home, had my tea, but it gave me an ache and belly. How so? I felt bad for how I spoke to you. I'm sorry. The drink gets a hold of me sometimes. Let's start again, shall we? My name is Arthur Tillett. Thomasina Bateman. What brings you to Bewley, anyway? I'm here to meet someone, but he has not arrived. His loss, if you ask me. Perhaps you know the gentleman, Mr. Leonard Shoulder. Oh, I, I know Mr. Shoulder, all right. 
If I may be so bold as to say, it's a bit long in the tooth for you. The relationship is not what you're implying. <laughs> I've never met him. In fact, I know very little about him at all. Get me an ale and I'll tell you all about the old sod. All right. Uh, I really don't think you need another. You said the drink gets a hold on you. I really don't think you need another. Please. No, you're already drunk. Come on, just one more. Don't you want to hear about old Leonard's shoulder? Well, yes. Wet my whistle and I'll tell you everything there is to know. You drive a hard bargain, Mr. Tillett. As you wish. Thank you very much, Miss Bateman. Let's buy a beer then. How can I help you? A tankard of your finest ale, Mr. Kemp. There we are. Two pence, please. Thank you. This was the last of my money, but Kenneth will be here tomorrow with more funds. Oh, but that's tomorrow, and we are on. We are living on the today. Many things could happen. Here's your ale. Here you are, Arthur. Thanking you. That hits the spot that does less. Now then. Old Len. Leonard's shoulder. <laughs> I knew this crap. Arthur? Mr. Tillett? Oh, for heaven's sake. The man is in a drunken stupor. After one drink too many, Arthur Tillett has passed out. Mr. Tillett? He's not nope. dead, just very drunk. I would still like to hear what he has to say about Mr. Shoulder. Who hasn't arrived? What the fuck do I do now? How can I help you? May I trouble you for a glass of water? If it's water you're after, I just refilled the jug in your room for you. Thank you. Thanks for your time. As you were. Okay. Do you know a Mr. Leonard Shoulder? You ought to be careful asking too many questions around here. Be on your way. Oh, I don't mean to. Listen to me, will you? Be on your way. How nice. Good day, sir. You're still busy drinking, you see. Should I go to my room then? Jug of water. This may come in handy. I don't wish to carry the bowl around with me. And Wakey wakey! Oh, what the hell was that for? You passed out, Mr. Tillett. Oh, sorry, lass. No worry. Leonard's shoulder. Hold on another minute. I'm making for a piss. Really? This man is unbelievable. <laughs> you told me, girl. That's a long piece. It feels like an hour has passed. Perhaps I should go in there and check on him. Miss Bateman. My apologies. The ladies are closed due to faulty plumbing. You'll have to use the gents. Lovely. 
Mr. Tillett. Okay, this bathroom is how he knows. Mr. Tillett? Mr. Tillett, are you in there? Not here. Mr. Tillett, are you in there? There's a cat. Well, you're not Mr. Tillett. The mangy thing is fast asleep. The door opens a crack, but appears to be blocked from the other side. I think I can hear someone moving around. Mr. Tillett? Arthur, are you out there? Judging from the draft coming from below, this door must lead outside. I should investigate further. A cold draft is leaking in. The door is blocked from the out. Yeah, let's go outside then. This way, I suppose. Or no, this way. Excuse me, sir. Oh, he left. A pearly white gent's glove. It's certainly unlike anything Mr. Tillett was wearing. Seems rather out of place here. Peculiar. Acquired a glove. It's the small window to the lavatories. Surely Mr. Tillett could not have squeezed through that gap. The door leads into the rear of the inn. A beam of wood is propped up against the door, barring it closed from the outside. Hmm. Someone has wedged the door shut. Mr. Tillett. Why would he have done that? Nothing mysterious. Did Mr. Tillett leave, then block the door behind him? Something well, strange is going on here. Most likely. Who was that old chap I saw outside the alley? He headed eastward. Maybe I could catch up with him and ask him if he saw Mr. Tillett. Sturdy looking barrels. No doubt used to store ale. Okay, he went that way. Sir? Hey, she. There it is. Oh, that light went out. The old man has disappeared into the darkness. I'd best turn back to the inn. Okay, let's go back to the inn. orders I should get some sleep finding the missing men of Bewley shall have to wait for tomorrow yeah there's quite a few men missing how can I help you have you seen Arthur Tillett I thought he were with you he went to the lavatory and has not returned <laughs> that sounds like Arthur Tillett don't worry lass he'll be back thanks for your time as you were. Kenneth will be arriving tomorrow at midday. I should get some sleep. Go to bed. I'm tired. Yes, I must get some sleep. I shall track down Mr. Shoulder tomorrow. Miss Bateman? Yes? Off to bed? Yes. I'm afraid Mr. Shoulder has let me down. The rotter. Perhaps you will make himself known tomorrow. I should hope so. This is turning into a waste of my time. Ah, don't mind the locals, miss. 
It's just that we don't get a lot of visitors in Pewley. Quite. They mean well, believe me. Sure, Mr. Kemp. Please, call me Stanley. Good night, Stanley. Sleep well, Miss Bateman. I'm loving the whole setup of the game. Oh, it's night. Uh oh, hey, wake up, girl. Oh, it's the kitty. Okay, that cat is creepy. The first day. Adventus. Such horrid dreams. from the inside just as I left it last night hmm oh as that's I weird I must have dreamt of that wretched looking cat I must say I'm relieved right then let's see if I can track down the elusive Leonard shoulder I'm rather anxious to get to this barrow I also wonder what happened to mr. Tillett okay that was the intro to the excavation of Hope Barrows. Uh, there are a few mysteries already for us, but that we have to wait. It's a good moment, it's a good moment to wrap up the video. Uh, just the end of the introduction and the start of the first chapter, which we will play on the next uh, video. But for now, that, uh, that will be all. Thank you for watching and uh, if you like the content and i would suppose that you did if you are still watching this please uh, hit that like button so youtube knows that you like my content also consider subscribing to my channel i upload a wide variety of games and, and there is something surely for you here and uh, well uh, with all that uh, said i will see you on the next video bye bye